An Internet Protocol addresses a numerical label such as 192.0.2.1 that is connected to a computer network that uses the Internet Protocol for communication. An IP address serves two main functions, network interface identification and location addressing. Internet Protocol version 4 defines an IP address as a 32-bit number. However, because of the growth of the Internet and the depletion of available IPv4 addresses, a new version of IP, using 128 bits for the IP address, was standardized in 1998. IPv6 deployment has been ongoing since the mid-2000s. IP addresses are written and displayed in human-readable notations, such as 192.0.2.1 in IPv4 and 2000 and 1db8.0.1234.0.567 in 1 in IPv6. The size of the routing prefix of the address is designated in CIDR notation by suffixing the address with the number of significant bits, e.g., 192.0.2.1/24. Which is equivalent to the historically used subnet mask 255.255.255.0. The IP address space is managed globally by the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority, and by five regional Internet registries responsible in their designated territories for assignment to local Internet registries, such as Internet service providers, and other end users. IPv4 addresses were distributed by IANA to the rears in blocks of approximately 16.8 million addresses each, but have been exhausted at the IANA level since 2011. Only one of the rears still has a supply for local assignments in Africa. Some IPv4 addresses are reserved for private networks and are not globally unique. Network administrators assign an IP address to each device connected to a network. Such assignments may be on a static or dynamic basis, depending on network practices and software features. How it works Every device connected to the Internet is assigned a unique IP address, which is needed to enable devices to communicate with each other. With appropriate software on the host website, the IP address of visitors to the site can be logged and can also be used to determine the visitor's geographical location. Logging the IP address can, for example, monitor if a person has visited the site before, for example to vote more than once, as well as to monitor their viewing pattern, how long since they performed any activity on the site, besides other things. Knowing the visitor's geolocation indicates, besides other things, the visitor's country. In some cases requests from or responses to a certain country would be blocked entirely. Geoblocking has been used, for example, to block shows in certain countries. Such as censorship of shows deemed inappropriate especially frequent in places such as China. Internet users may circumvent geoblocking and censorship and protect personal identity and location to stay anonymous on the Internet using a VPN connection. On a website, an IP address block can prevent a disruptive address from access, though a warning and slash or account block may be used first. Dynamic allocation of IP addresses by ISPs can complicate incoming IP address blocking, rendering it difficult to block a specific user without blocking many IP addresses, thereby creating collateral damage. Implementations Unix-like operating systems commonly implement IP address blocking using a TCP wrapper configured by host access control files slash etc slash hosts dot deny and slash etc slash hosts dot allow. Both companies and schools offering remote user access use Linux programs such as deny hosts or FAIL2BAN for protection from unauthorized access while allowing permitted remote access. This is also useful for allowing remote access to computers. It is also used for internet censorship. IP address blocking is possible on many systems using a host's file, which is a simple text file containing host names and IP addresses. Host's files are used by many operating systems, 
including Microsoft Windows, Linux, Android, and OS X.